Football camps are now upon us, and it's time for our first high school football training camp report of the summer on J98 The Boot. My name's Glenn Johnson, and over the next few minutes, I'll be taking you inside the football camp of the Potosi Trojans. Potosi was the first team to take the field for camp this summer, and Coach Mark Casey is entering his fifth year with the team. He says camp couldn't have gotten here fast enough. This is an exciting time of the year, you know. It's one of those deals uh, coming off a, a season that we weren't real excited about there. Uh, last year, we're, we're kind of of excited to get a fresh start and, and see where we can go with it. That's been good. A lot of excitement. Guys are excited to put the helmets and shoulder pads back on and kind of get back into the football football way of life, I, I guess you could say. Uh, those guys have been, you know, they've been pretty excited for the last couple weeks just in the weight room talking about it. So, I mean, we're pretty happy right now uh, with the enthusiasm. We've got pretty decent numbers right now. A few guys that probably need to be here that aren't here yet. I don't know if it's because of baseball or whatever the case may be, but uh, I think when everybody gets here, we're going to be we're going to be all right. You know, we're going to be fairly young, but at the same time, we're going to have a good mix of seniors that are going to be able to uh, provide some good leadership. Potosi finished a disappointing 2-8 and eight last season, fifth place in the white division of the MAFC. Their two wins came in the second half of the year against Fredericktown and then against North County on the final game of the season. Those are two wins Casey thinks the team can build on. Yeah, you know, going into that those last couple games, especially that last game, that was kind of the whole motivation, the whole focus was to uh, to play well this game and have something to build on over the offseason. And, uh, and they really did. They played well that last game. And, and ever since that point, they really have worked hard in the weight room over the winter time and they've worked hard this summer and and, I, and you know I think they've gone in everywhere but up since so uh, it's been a good deal for us so far. So as the Trojans took the field for training camp this summer we looked for a player's perspective on the mood around camp and we went no further than senior wide receiver slash defensive end Dakota Glore. It's been great so far you know we've had a real good attitude and we've been going real strong so far and all of our coach, new coaches have kicked in and really picked up the pace and we've just came together a lot closer as a family. Glor's returning as a starter at defensive end, but this will be his first year getting serious playing time at the wideout spot. Coach Casey expects him to use his strength to create mismatches on the offensive side of the ball. Dakota's a big, strong kid. You know, he's one of those. He he gets in the weight room. He really hammers it hard. He uh, he's a he plays a really good baseball player as well. So he didn't get as much lifting in in the spring as he would have probably liked. But he's really hit it hard this summer. Uh, and in, in for his size, he runs really well. You know, has really good hands. And so we're excited about Dakota. We're, you know, I think that he could be a mismatch in certain games, and we're going to try to utilize him as much as possible. Another key piece to the puzzle this year will be senior tailback Dusty Weidman, who expects to get the bulk of the carries this year after a workhorse of a season last year. Oh yeah, I have a load. Last year I was carrying 30 times a game, so they're going to expect that. But we also got a better passing game this year, so hopefully it won't be all me. It'll be a little more team. Coach Casey expects Weidman to bring it to another level in 2012. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He was definitely our workhorse last year. He got a lot of carries every game. He was one of those bruising type of runners last year. But the thing about Dusty, he's worked really hard in the weight room as well. And uh, in last track season, he worked really, really hard to to gain some speed, and he did. He's a lot faster this year than what he was last year. Uh, so we're really, really, you know, I, I don't want to put too many high expectations on him, but he was a really good player for us last year. We're, we're expecting him to be a great player for us this year. Opponents scored 334 four points on the Trojans last year so at camp improving on defense is a priority. Dakota Glore will be anchoring the defensive line again this year. Our defense has made a big improvement since last year and we're really looking forward to getting our defense out on the field this year because we've came a long ways. Dusty Weidman agrees that the defense does need work but he also points out some other areas where they're working to improve. Our defense we're going to work on defense a little more this year. Our line's looking better this year. Lost a little size but I think they'll be better in last year. Uh, we're just going to play as a team better. You know, we fell apart kind of from the inside last year, so I think we're better on that this year and we'll come out and have a better season. A hot topic at any training camp is always the quarterback position, and Potosi is no different. Junior Aaron Vinson is expected to be this year's starter after playing well in his sophomore season. Aaron has been doing a really good job these first couple days of camp, and over the, like I said, over the winter after basketball was over, he uh, really hit the weight room hard and put on a few pounds, and he's been thinking a lot of football the past few months, so we're pretty excited to see what he can do. As of now, the signal caller position is Vinson's to lose, but there are several other spots on the field that are up for grabs. We do have some position battles going. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, at the receiver spot, we've got, you know, sometimes we'll run four wide, you know, so we've got some guys battling for those receiver spots on our offensive and defensive line. We've got some definite position battles going at some linebacker spots and some secondary spots. We've got some some big battles going. Uh, it's one of those deals that guys kind of know that coming in and it's making 
them make each other work harder right now. So it, it's kind of a really good thing. Uh, we've, we're not going to have a ton of experience coming back. I, I would say I would call Friday night guys, but we're going to have guys that have been in our system long enough and they understand the system. And I think they're going to move right into those roles. And, and as long as they will fill those, those roles that were left open, with the senior leadership that they have with them right now, I think we're going to be all right. Overall, Coach Casey has seen his guys work hard this summer. He's hoping we'll all see the fruits of their labor come week one. You know, the most important part of the season is the off season, and a lot of these guys have really uh, taken advantage of it, and, they're, and, and I think it's going to benefit us all in the long run. Reporting from the Potosi Football Training Camp, I'm Glenn Johnson.